dog here and we're going to be amputating this toe. This presented initially was a little bit of redness around the base and this toenail you can see is um, changed and overgrown. Um, we talked to dad when it initially presented here a couple weeks ago that it's very likely a tumor when we see this nail growth suddenly change in an older dog and certainly it's progressed to that point now. Um, so we're going to amputate this digit today um, and remove it here down to this this digit. We have chest x-rays and things from yesterday that show that we don't have any obvious uh, metastatic disease at this point but we will um, get this kid to surgery. So we're immediately post-operative here and we're going to put a bandage on this but we've amputated this digit, um, got the entire thing Got it closed up. I like to put a bandage on there just for some additional support. Um, just kind of help protect everything from the patient. Um, we did a, a ring block to block these nerves and infuse some local um, marking or bupivacaine, which will help um, give some additional pain control uh, on top of the drugs that we're already using. And then we'll send this guy home later this afternoon. We'll see him back here to recheck things and send this biopsy out. But here is our toe we got off here took everything out so that we got some good margins hi everyone dr rogers here so i am doing some more late night video editing um so i want to tell you a little bit about the video that you just saw so um we did get the biopsy result back on that digit that we removed and it did come back as a squamous cell carcinoma which is a pretty common tumor that we see of the nail bed in these older dogs the good news is that they tend to be more locally invasive and don't like to spread or metastasize to other areas of the body. Um, so the pathologist who read this out, uh, Dr. Stromberg, who was actually a professor of mine at um, The Ohio State University, he read it out and he included some great information um, about um, squamous cell carcinoma. So I'm going to read it to you real quick, but basically, um, the metastatic potential is low, meaning again, it's not likely to spread um, and digit amputation or removal of the toe is most likely curative. And um, in one study, 95% of the dogs with um, a tumor, rumini, um, a squamous cell carcinoma originating from the subungual epithelium, which is basically that nail bed there, survived for at least one year. And then in another study, 74% of dogs with that type of tumor survived at least two years. And that was from the journal of um, uh, JAVMA. So again, um, it's certainly an area that you need to monitor. Getting it off of there promptly is important. We did have a little bit of delay with the owner originally because he was he was kind of bulking at removing his dog's toe um, before it started to look really bad. Unfortunately, I don't have video for you guys of what it looked like after it was healed nicely. Um, the owner didn't come back for a recheck, so that sometimes happens in veterinary medicine, but um, I have seen some of his other pets since then, and he says that the dog is doing uh, quite well. So that is veterinary medicine in a pinch, but again, anytime you have a tumor, um, or any kind of irregular area at the nail base, especially in an older dog, but especially that dead giveaways when that nail starts to get really large, that's pretty much classic. And so you should really talk about removal or get your dog in to see a veterinarian pretty quickly because there's um, some of those tumors can be much more aggressive and like to spread to other places. So that, that nail being awkward like that is a dead giveaway. So again, hopefully you enjoyed this content. You always give us a like and subscribe. We appreciate that. If you have any comments or questions, comment down below and I will do my very best to get back to you um, and answer those. Thank you so much.